Hello everyone and welcome to my reaction to Sakamoto Days Chapter 54. We're finally back from another week-long break. Viz says we're getting another chapter in seven days, so I guess the era of the two-week waits is over, at least for now. Uh, I think I heard that they go on break again. Because cause One Piece is on break next week, and then I heard some people saying that means we're getting more of like an actual two-week break. So I assume... Uh, Jump is taking the last week of January off. All right, I guess. Jump in January moment. Uh, so, yeah. Um, so, in the last chapter, we had Gaku interrupting the fight between Sakamoto and Slur after Sakamoto started uh, showing off some killing intent. Um, and Takamura is... Kind of slowly following behind Gaku, cutting his way through the building. So, let's see how things develop from here. Uh, before we get into the reaction, I of course have to mention, if you haven't already, definitely be sure to subscribe. Help us reach our new subscriber goal of hitting 5,000 subscribers. Whenever we manage to do that, I'm going to do a 24-hour live stream that's going to be full of fun, random bullshit. So, definitely be sure to subscribe if you're interested in getting to see that. But without any further ado, let's get into chapter 54 of Sakamoto Days. Oh, the door is right here. Oh, shit. Oh. So Takamura enters. Mr. Sakamoto and Shin are shocked. Slur, Gaku, guy with the weird sideburns, they're all reacting to this. Days number 54, I got this. Who's got this? What are you gonna do, Takamura? He's mumbling like usual. Pop, wait a second. The sword was just out of the sheath. Did he put it back in and now he's popping it out again? Uda on it. That's his name, Uda. So Uda shoots at Takamura. He blocks the bullets. Then, now apparently this Uda guy is actually pretty nice with it. He's pretty strong. He fucking flash steps behind Takamura. He's got the gun to the back of his head. Uda, are you going to be alive on the next page? No. No, you're fuck. Okay, I have to switch to single pages because this is getting kind of fucking ridiculous. So, uh, Takamura turns his sword around, stabs it through Uda's finger, the gun, and into Uda's neck. I'm pretty sure Uda's fucking dead. Then, Gaku comes in, tries to smack Takamura with the stick that he has now, and Takamura cuts his fucking arm off. Once again, Gaku appeared on the color page in um, the first chapter of the series, so the guy is clearly significant in some way. I don't know how. This is now the second person to have lost an arm in this fight. We've seen with Mr. Reindeer that, um, well, medical technology is a little wacky in the world of Sakamoto days, so I figure you can probably slap a guy's arm back on if you got the right connections. Uh, so maybe a part will get his back, maybe Gaku can get his fingers and ear back, because those are actual things that people can get reattached in real life, I don't know. Um, but yeah, uh, Takamura is being uh, uh, a little busy being top of the verse right now. Uh, I don't need this. He fucking spins around. You are, why are you so casual about this? What the fuck? He spins around, kicks his arm holding the stick into Takamura, who blocks it, but his sword is cracked. His sword is cracked by this. What will you do if you lose your sword, old man Takamura? What are you going to do? It looks like he's going in to attack Gaku again. And Slur saves Gaku. Apparently Gaku is that valuable, or, uh, you know... Slur actually somewhat cares about his subordinates, I don't know. Um, but it looks like uh, Takamura's cut the building in half right in front of everyone, even Mr. Sakamoto's had to get out of the way. Ooh, this is a spread. This is a spread. Yeah! Let's go, Gaku. This battle is insane. Show us your stuff, boss. Give me a break. Oh, are they leaving? Are they running away? Is the mission not worth it anymore if, Takam if uh, old man Takamura's here? Ooh! Sakamoto gets in his way. Wait, you're not going anywhere. It was good seeing you, Sakamoto. They go in. They go in for a melee. 
Sakamoto loses later. Takamura comes in behind Slur. He's gonna try and slash him. Sorry to ask this of you. Uda. Oh, Uda's not dead. Cool. No worries. Yeah, he's not gonna last much longer. I got this. He's gonna blow himself up. He's wearing a fucking suicide vest or something. He pulls out his tie. Yep, blew up. Well, I guess if you really do want to uh, destroy the JAA, blowing up their headquarters would certainly be a way to do that. Um, so, Sheen and Apart are protected by Sakamoto's uh, apron, but we don't see Sakamoto. Takamura's fine, even though Uda blew up like right fucking behind him. Uh, I think that's... Wait, no. It's kind of hard to tell because, you know, bright flashing light, you can't really tell who everyone is. Um, Takamura's got his sword, so he's kind of obvious, but this guy, I can't tell if that's Sakamoto or not. He looks a little bit, uh, hefty, so I think that's Sakamoto. I, we got the rubble, dust starting to clear. Ooh. Mr. Sakamoto, I'm so sorry you sacrificed your apron for me. Are you really that worried about that? I'm okay. Knife falls onto the ground. Uh-oh. Slur. Behind Sakamoto. You. Boss. Let's get out of here. Dang, hard to walk with only one arm. Yeah, that would mess up, like, your balance and stuff, Gaku. They're gone? Yeah, I guess. Uh, September 20-something. 176 dead, 3 injured, 1 missing. Half a year after the onset of Slayer's Assassin Purge, the number of professional assassins in Japan dropped to a quarter. Now, that would be significant. That would have a, a big impact on the, uh, the JAA and such. But I wonder, why does Slur want to do this? He says that, like, destroying the JAA will help bring about justice. What does that mean, exactly? Because, like, Slur is still... Well, we know he trained as an assassin... If he's not, like, taking jobs anymore, like, he's not doing hitman jobs or anything, then I guess he's not working as an assassin. Maybe he's against the assassination business? I don't know. We're gonna have to find out. So it was pretty interesting thus far, and, uh, I'm quite excited to learn more about him. But with that, that was all for this week's chapter. Pretty solid. Pretty good. Uh, definitely looking forward to seeing what we get next week. But with that... That's all I've got for this week's reaction. If you enjoyed, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. I do reactions to every new chapter of Sakamoto Days, so if you're interested in those, definitely be sure to subscribe. And if you enjoy discussing Sakamoto Days with other people, or you just enjoy the content I produce in this channel, I highly suggest you check out my Discord server. I have linked to that down in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys around. Take care.